This is the Great Britain Pavilion. It's opened in October 1st, 1982. It is one of the original pavilions to open with Epcot. Gonna take a look around. Well, they even have the old British style telephone booths. The Rosen Garden Pub is a sit down eating establishment. You can come and you can get a beverage with your meal, fish and chips, and other British food wares and desserts aplenty. Reservations are not required, but it helps to have one unless you want to wait for a table to open up. All the architecture is definitely English. They have a multitude of shops, toy store. The first place we are going into is Twining's Tea. This is a very popular tea in England. Twining's is available at most grocery stores in the United States. They have lots of different flavors and varieties from traditional to green tea blends. These are a nice touch. The stir has honey and orange extract. And you use that to stir your hot tea. Traditional British tea is served hot. All different varieties. Though most Americans prefer their tea iced than hot tea. Also got tea cups. Got larger cups and collector tins. Numerous candies and cookies from England. Yeah, thank you. More English treats. Oh, we got it. I have a friend who lives in South Africa. So I have lovely tea sets. Might recognize these characters. It's the Mad Hatter. There's some teacups and mugs. Let's get a fancy tea tea kettle. You would not use these to boil the water, but the tea would be placed in here with hot water, and this is what you would pour your tea from. More characters from Alice in Wonderland. From dishes and teacups. Got cookie platters. Also got some shirts. And other mugs. Got lords and ladies fancy goods. Just some lovely scarves. And bonnets for the ladies. Other scarves and change purses. Got rings and earrings. More jewelry. From rings and necklaces and charms. More scarves and handbags and purses. Yardley is an English company, so they have a lot of their products available here, from soaps and bath salts. More bath products and fragrances. So it does smell nice in here. I also have uh, perfumes. And 
some more bags and wallets, purses, there are lovely designs on them, more bags, got a really nice courtyard right outside of the shops. If you happen to see my Easter morning video, well this is where the Easter festivities were. This is also the meeting area for people wishing to see Mary Poppins as a meet and greet. This gazebo hosts multiple music acts throughout the year. I'm gonna go check out the Toy Soldier. They have collectible shirts from all of the British bands and groups that came from Europe. From Def Leppard, Led Zeppelin, ACDC, and of course the Beatles. And who can forget the Rolling Stones. A lot of great music. More Beatles memorabilia. A lot of famous record covers on these shirts. And of course they're going to have Winnie the Pooh characters here because Winnie the Pooh is British. It was written by an English author. Also got Paddington Bear, and Piglet and Eeyore, and Monty Python and the Holy Grail shirts. Wow. Now that was a fantastic movie and series. Definitely British. United Kingdom t-shirts. Lots of little displays around the store. Some of the merchandise they have available here. Got a whole section here around Doctor Who. If you are in the United States and the show is currently being shown on BBC America. Really, really cool sci-fi show. A Doctor Who lunchbox and more t-shirts. Here is your soldier. This is one of the Queen's guards. They are supposed to stand perfectly still. This guy's doing a good job. All right, next shop we're gonna check out is the Crown and Crest. This gift shop has British themed merchandise. From shirts and hats and towels and mugs. They also have Disney cross merchandise with a British appeal. World Showcase Mickey Mouse. It's a very, very cool looking gift shop here. Got beer steins and mugs, shot glasses, wine glasses, shirts and sweatshirts, and of course the iconic London taxi. Or oh, you might prefer a Mini Cooper. Got swords and shields. Also have collectible figurines of knights. More swords. And knights and dragons. Got some really cool suits of armor up above. This is all about heraldry. The history of your last name. A lot of family crest up on the ceiling. 
and other swords and axes, shields. You can get your name printed with the story of your last name and your family crest. We're gonna check out the sportsman shop. Football is very, very popular over this part of the world. Of course, you might know it more in the United States as soccer. Various jerseys, team names. Different sponsors. Get yourself your very own football or soccer ball if you prefer. More jerseys and jackets and hats. Well, everyone's a kid in Disney. Exactly. <laughs> Rose and Crown Pub shirts and hats. It's a sit down establishment that I showed you earlier. We also have Guinness merchandise. Got magnets. Or a Guinness bar towel if you would like. Got Guinness steins and mugs. Also shirts. Got a Guinness jersey. Guinness candies. Hats. No more shirts. Also in the Great Britain Pavilion, they have the Yorkshire County Fish Shop. Get some famous fish and chips. Hey, well, I could not resist. I got some fish and chips. There's also a meeting spot for Alice from Alice in Wonderland. Get your picture taken with her.